Now, in my opinion, nothing shows the age of a car more than faded paint and faded headlight lenses. And that's what we're gonna take care of today. I got the 3M headlight restoration kit and we're gonna go ahead and redo this headlight. And honestly, this kit works amazingly. Uh, I know that because I just did the left headlight. Uh, we're gonna go step by step here. I'm gonna show you each thing that you need to do and uh, to get this lens you know, nice and pretty again. So let's get started. Now I'm doing this demonstration on the Nissan Xterra uh, because this, these lenses are the worst uh, of all my vehicles. Now you obviously see the general yellow discoloration. Uh, it's got a little bit of cloudiness to it. It's got some waviness to it. It's got these really weird kind of wave discolorations and we've got pits. So we're gonna try to eliminate all that today. Uh, I think I can. This headlight was just as bad as the other one. Uh, so, and that one it, we got looking pretty darn good. So with the 3M restoration kit, you need your hand drill and you have a base for the kit and then you have all of your different sanding discs. You start uh, with an 800, or excuse me, a 500, then you go to an 800, then you go to a 3000, and then you do a compounding. So this is really, uh, it's kind of tedious and it takes a really long time, but uh, it's really, really well worth it because you're not paying you know, 100 bucks a lens to uh, replace them. So we're gonna start by masking around this with uh, regular masking tape or painter's tape, and uh, then we're gonna start sanding it down. Something real quick I wanna mention about the masking tape is that you really can't be too careful with this. Definitely put down two layers right against the lens because the discs that you're working with are actual discs. So it's hard to kind of get into corners and sand certain things without hitting. Notice this way and up against these edges, okay? Now, really, I mean, it's an easy step, it's quick to do, and it really makes a lot of sense. And especially on the Xterra where you have this ledge on the bottom, when you go to sand this area, it's hard not to hit this. And I found that on the other lens, I was hitting it. Um, also, once you're done with this, you wanna get your disc, and I have the disc installed onto my drill, and uh, it's good, it has a little Velcro pad. You wanna grab your 500 grit disc and just Velcro that on there. All right, quick and easy, and then get to sanding. But before we do that, I want you to at least wear a dust mask. Um, I'm actually gonna use a full face respirator. Uh, we are sanding plastic and, with a very fine grit, and after this it's gonna be even more fine, and uh, we're gonna be creating literally plastic dust in the air, and you really don't wanna be inhaling that. So make sure your lens is clean, get your disc installed, wear some breathing protection, and then get to sanding. Okay, now notice I was going with, you, you wanna do a medium light pressure and I'm holding the pad at an angle and kind of moving up and down as one pass and then as another pass, kind of going back and forth and then you just kind of have to hit this as much as you can. Now, you wanna do, again, medium light pressure and have a rag on hand and you wanna wipe off the lens, or excuse me, the sandpaper frequently, okay? If, you, if this starts to gum up, you have to put on a new pad. You have six of these pads for both headlights. So, you know, you wanna make sure it's maintained, keep it clean, and make sure it doesn't get gummed up. Do that frequently, and then I also like to wipe the lens of all the dust I'm creating as well as I go. I just find that it kinda helps you get down to that surface a little better. And then you just wanna keep repeating this process uh, I can't really tell you how many times it's gonna take, mostly because it all depends on how bad the lens is. Uh, I can tell you on, on this lens, on the other side, I probably did at least 10 passes with, the, um, with this 500, and then uh, 10 or 12 with the subsequent uh, pads. So, I'm gonna keep going on this, and uh, let's meet up when I'm ready to switch to the 800.
What you're looking for here is a even kind of matte finish all across the lens. Um, any major scratches uh, you want gone and you want just kind of a, you know, your regular coarse scratches all across the entire lens. So once that's done and, and obviously you can see the color itself has even changed. It's already gotten a lot clearer, a lot brighter. Uh, once you've done that, you want to swap out your uh, 500 for your 800 and basically just do it again. Now you want to make sure that you are eliminating the coarse scratches and replacing them with finer scratches, right? So that's what we're doing. We're basically taking off a bunch of material and then we're going to continually smooth it until it's back to normal. Now, if you notice, I hit the tape in a few places. So the tape's doing its job. If you find while you're, while you're sanding, if you find that you're hitting this tape and it's coming apart or um, weakening, stop what you're doing, put more tape on. Uh, believe me, you'll, you'll thank me later. Uh, you really don't want to hit your paint with these discs. So uh, make sure you have a nice even matte finish, change to the 800 and start all over again. All right, so I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Uh, a good indicator is if you run your fingers across the lens, uh, it feels pretty smooth at this point. Uh, although it's very matte, uh, it's very smooth. So just do a quick inspection and make sure that you don't have any more coarse, uh, coarse graded lines into this lens. And if you're pretty happy with where it is, uh, you're ready to switch over to the 3000 grit. And the 3000 grit, ends up being uh, kind of like a little plasticky, rubbery mat thing. Uh, it doesn't even really feel like sandpaper. Uh, but what this is going to do, this is going to really start to polish the lens. And this is done using water. All right. Now, we want to make sure that the lens stays wet at all times while using this uh, particular disc. You really, really don't want to let this run dry. Um, it'll mess this up and it could mess up your lens as well. So um, on the bright side, you probably don't need your, uh, your respirator at this point or any dust mask, but uh, just spray the lens or the pad. Um, I, I'm a little weary about spraying the pad because it's a power drill. I don't know. It doesn't seem like the brightest idea. And then spray your lens. And then on a medium speed and light pressure, you want to start running it across. All right. There we go. Now, unlike the unlike the pads before, this can actually be laid flat against the lens if that's what you want. Um, I find that I don't have a whole lot of control when I do that, so I still hold it at an angle, but uh, you can do it however you want. But if you notice, you can already see it's starting to get clear. Now, we're not looking to get the lens entirely clear at this point. Uh, that's what the compound is for in the buffing. What we're looking for is eliminating all s visible scratches. So if we can see a scratch, or whether it be from you know the 800 or the 500 grit, uh, you want to try to eliminate it in this stage. If you find that you're not able to eliminate it, you want to go back. Take a few steps back. Make sure this is dry. Take a few steps back in your, in your grit and then basically redo the process. Um, I'm not looking for complete and utter perfection. I'm looking for a huge improvement. So um, even if I do see a small, you know, a few little tiny light scratches, I'm going to move forward. But if you're looking for perfect, you got to take the few steps back and start the process over. Uh, so with this, again, make sure the lens is always wet. Run it just like you sand everything else. And then uh, get it to a point where it's just got a light haze. And then we're going to put the compound on. All right. Well, honestly, uh, I already love the way it looks. It's, uh, I would already take this lens over the one we had previously, right? But uh, we have one more step to go. Now, once you're done with the 3000 grit, kind of give it a quick dry. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just make sure that you can't see you know, any scratches from the, 
previous sandings. So uh, this looks pretty good. I don't really see any major scratches. There's something that, you know, if, if there's a few that are really, really fine, you may actually get those out with your compound. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, if you are worried about it, then like I said before, you have to back up a step and resand. So the last disc is a, a pink foam disc and you have your compound. So we'll get that ready and then we'll talk about it. So here is the final disc. This is a uh, pink foam disc that is uh, gonna be used to apply our compound. Now this is another disc that can be laid flat against the lens, but this time we're gonna use a rubbing compound. So this came with the kit and you just want to uh, squeeze about a dime size on to the center of your disc. Set that aside and then kind of move it around the disc for, or excuse me, around the lens first and make sure that uh, you want to minimize your splatter. This one you kind of want to go easy. You want to, don't want to go at a really high speed um, until you're confident of you know, the compound being on there. It's not dry and it's, you don't have dry portions of your pad. Once you're ready to go, this is another one. Don't let it run dry at all under any circumstance. Use up your compound. Make sure that you're using it at all times to make sure it's uh, wet and you're not uh, running this thing over top of your dry plastic with dry compound. Not a good combination. So get this one going and this is the final step. So this is your polish, right? So get the lens to where you want it to look and then you are done. I think we are good. So get yourself a new towel, not one that you used previously, and just go ahead and give it a wipe once you feel like you're good. And wow, all right, look at this. Awesome. Okay, so that is our fully restored headlight. Uh, really just night and day. It looks absolutely incredible. There is um, a few little things that I want to mention, uh, especially on the Nissan Xterra, is this little ridge is hard. Uh, it's difficult to get stuff in there. Again, I'm not terribly concerned with it. You can see it's still a little bit faded here, but uh, overall, I mean, what a difference. What an incredible difference. This, was, this kit was $15 for both headlights. I mean, seven, $7.50 to get your headlight looking like this, uh, it's a pretty big deal. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna take off a bunch of masking tape and clean this car, it's pretty filthy. But uh, if you have any questions, concerns, definitely put them in the comments below and uh, get those headlights restored.